Hello, this is a video on Zero Water and TDS. Um, Zero Water, what it does is take out the TDS that could be in your sink. Uh, like I get a lot of hard uh, water here. You see calcium just deposits around here, all these spots. You know, I clean this daily, but they still come back, you know. So it's a sign of hard water, TDS. Uh, there's good things in uh, water. It could be calcium, magnesium, and other good things. Um, but there's also a lot of uh, undissolved solids. So you don't know if it's uh, water waste. You don't know if it's leaves uh, or organic debris, pesticides. Uh, you don't know exactly what it is. The TDS doesn't tell you, uh, we have a tester that comes with the zero water. Um, there's a tester here. And basically what you do is just uh, turn it on and you put it in the water. Now TDS doesn't tell you what's in your water. Uh, TDS is, um, just tells you what the level is. Now the, um, in the US there's a low level of 500. And I'll show you here on my tap water that it's over 500. Um, I recently had a visit with in the hospital with uh, kidney stones. And I believe this hard water here uh, contributed to it. So here, here's the zero water filter racing system. So I've got some on the floor, but that's okay. Doing this one-handed. And that's what this TDS filter does. And like I said, you don't, um, it doesn't tell you what's in the water. It just gives you your, it's at zero, which is hard to see it right now. zero in the water. Now I'll turn on the tap water here. And we'll throw it in there. Remember 500 is the uh, maximum. That is at 5. Oh, let's get it out. 546 and that is from the tap water 546 which is over the maximum limit and like I said you can see all the calcium or all this all these spots and everything here um, what I was doing I was drinking a lot of water drink bottled water it gets expensive over time uh, so I was just refilling my bottle bottle water and keeping it in the refrigerator um, I tried to, I was going to buy a filter, but this thing here, the is so calcium in there that when I tried to take it off, um, it was going to break. So I have to get with the maintenance to see if they can put one on for me. I'd rather have a, that kind of system uh, just right off the water. And you can have a backup too. Have a filtration system right here and then have this one too. So you could be taking that water out, putting in, you know, different options. I'm not uh, promoting zero water. Uh, I did have a problem with it. Um, when I first got it, it was good for a couple days, but then I tilted it. I tilted the uh, container. I dumped some water out. And when I tilted the container, the filter, uh, you, there's a five layer filter in there. And when I tilted it, the the layers must have got uh, mixed up or something because when it come back upright it wasn't uh, filtering what right and it was you know just as bad as the tap water when I was testing it so I went out and bought another filter uh, they do have 30 day guarantee on there um, but I went out and bought another filter I was actually going to cut it open to show you but the box does illustrate it very well. Uh, the filter box and this filter was about 1590 something so they can be expensive 
and um, they said make sure there's a washer on there because you'll see here that you want to uh, tighten it you don't want to tighten it too tight you, you know just snug it in there and make sure nothing's leaking and uh, when you do you run your water through here you, you pour your water through here and then you'll test it just like I did you know with the cup you test it and make sure it says zero now if it doesn't say zero then you know it could be something wrong so you want to get back in there uh, maybe the filter needs tightened or but um, like I said I'm not promoting zero water if you do buy this this system um, if it gets to uh, level on number six that's what the meter is really for that little meter is for when it gets to six, that tells you you need to, to get a new filter. But the TDS doesn't tell you what's in there. The TDS filter meter uh, doesn't tell you what's in the water. It just tells you know what level it is. And uh, my tap water here at the apartment is above that. And um, they have information here that Arizona's got one of the highest TDS levels. You can see here. Arizona, uh, we've got one of the highest. Uh, you got back in like New York, where you know they got new pizza. The pizza is really good. Is um, I heard it's because of the filtration system they use. Uh, they got a good filtration system. It's just this. It's the taste. So that's like the secret ingredients to the pizza back there, is the uh, filtration system. And me, I keep water in over here to the side, and I open. I use this, it's easier than putting the, the, the bottle under there, or this whole filter. So I just pour this in there. And it filters through. And when you're doing your meter test, you just want to make sure that there's uh, no dirty water or no residue from uh, another, from the sink water in there. So if you rinse it out and do your test, um, you know, make sure there's no residue. And also, uh, it does states that you'll go through filters more if it's a high concentrated TDS, um, which that means Arizona is probably, whoever has these filters, uh, zero filters are gonna be buying, uh, uh, going through more filters than some of the other states. And, uh, I gave my dog the zero water because he had calcium all around here. It's not there anymore. You can see some, some I didn't get off completely, but right here there's still some left. But there's calcium all the way around here. Uh, and I cleaned it the best I could. And I just I wanted him to have good water too. Um, like being in a hospital is a for a kidney stone and I didn't even pass the kidney stone it was 11,600 hospital bill because they do cat scan two cat scans on me and um, the doctor bill alone was just for the doctor 1500 and the emergency room fee was like over 9,000 and the radiologist is over 300 and something and I was only there a short period of time uh, but like I said, I believe this, uh, I wasn't, um, I was drinking a lot of water, but this, uh, TDS, I didn't think, you know, it doesn't help. Um, especially when you, you do have kidney stones and things like that. You don't be drinking, um, um, water that's got high TDS in it. Well, that's my video. And like I said, I'm not promoting zero water. And so far I like it. The taste is good. It was kind of my my bad when I tilted the filter that came with it. So that's my caution: is make sure that you don't tilt it, tilt that filter, keep it upright. And when you're screwing it in, it's kind of difficult by yourself, but you have to hold this this uh, up. You know, you have to hold it up, and you have to filter. You have to screw that filter on, and don't screw it too tight. Or if there's any leaks, you know, gotta screw it just enough. You, you might want to run some water in 
and make sure there's no leaks because if it leaks down inside then you're gonna it's gonna come out and it's not gonna be zero um, that was one of my first mistakes too as I tighten that too tight you know uh, but then I tightened it too loose and it was uh, some was leaking in there but uh, there's directions that comes with it and like I said uh, um, it's it's good I like the water um, hopefully that will help with uh, prevention of kidney stones as well well this is my video I uh, hope you like it if you like it please subscribe thanks bye